in this video we are studying about the radius of curvature in parametric form so when the equation is given in a parametric form either you can use the radius of curvature in parametric form formula or we can convert it in cartesian form and find the radius of curvature so i am converting this into the radius of curvature in cartesian form and then finding the radius of curvature so first the radius of curvature in cartesian form is given by rho is equal to 1 plus y dash square raised to 3 by 2 divided by y double dash so for that i have to find out y dash and y double dash from these two parametric equations so to find y dash so let me take x is equal to a theta plus sine theta. Here theta is the parameter. So therefore differentiate with respect to theta dx by d theta is equal to a. The derivative of theta is 1. The derivative of sine theta it is cos theta. Similarly for y it is a 1 minus cos theta. Differentiating with respect to theta, it is dy by d theta. The derivative of 1 is 0. Here a as it is 0. The derivative of cos is minus sign. Already we have a minus sign here. So it will become plus sign theta. The derivative dy by dx or y dash. In case of the parametric equations given, we have this as dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta which will be a sin theta divided by a 1 plus cos theta. The a get cancelled. Simplifying this by using submultiple angle formula. The formula of sin theta is 2 sin theta by 2 into cos of theta by 2 and the formula of 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2. On simplifying we have sine by cos which is tan of theta by 2. So we have y dash is equal to tan theta by We will go for the second order derivative. So take y double dash which is nothing but d square y by dx square. Note that we are differentiating with respect to x for tan of theta by 2 which will be second square theta by 2. The derivative of theta by 2 will be 1 by 2. Since the differentiation is with respect to x we will write this as d theta by dx which is reciprocal of dx by d theta. So 1 by 2 second square theta by 2 we have d theta by dx as 1 by a 1 plus cos theta. It is 1 by 2 a second square theta by 2 1 plus cos theta is again 2 cos second square theta by 2. So it will become 1 by 4a. 1 by cos square is second square again which will become sec raised to 4 theta by 2. So the y double dash is 1 by 4a sec raised to 4 theta by 2. Substituting this in the radius of curvature formula, it is rho is equal to 1 plus y dash square raised to 3 by 2 divided by y double dash, which is 1 plus the y dash is tan square, tan square theta by 2 raised to 3 by 2, this divided by 1 by 4a sec raised to 4 theta by 2. 
1 plus 10 square is second square raised to 3 by 2 which will become sec cube again. So 1 plus 10 square is second square raised to 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 4 is sec raised to 4 theta by 2. On simplification it is sec cube by sec raised to 4 is 1 by sec which is nothing but cos and this 4a will go to the numerator. It is 4a by sec of theta by 2. So this we can write it as rho is equal to 4a cos of theta by 2. So we have proved that the radius of curvature of the cycloid is 4a cos of theta by 2. Thanks for watching.